Okay, well, welcome to your second loose track of, of Portager World Cup Finals weekend. Uh, a little bit of a late start, so as you can see, we're already into it. Uh, I, I should also be joined by a co-commentator in a little bit, but for the time being, solo on this uh, hidden pick. This, uh, what pick, actually? No, free mod pick. Okay, yeah, free mod too. I r I'm really on top of things. Well, very close as of right now, with uh, OQ no number 37 still on the FCs, but uh, Chile now to take the combo lead. And OQ breaking actually is going to be huge for Chile. Just a lot of big combos, or bigger combos. Nine new suit. Six new suit nine. Going pretty big on the Nomad here. It's going to. Alongside number 37, and a solid combo from TFGE as well. Take this pick home. So a clean win on uh, on the free mod two to start things off for Chile. A break point actually. And the bands, the bands were HR2 Hidden 1 for uh, Chile and ET1 Nomad 2 in the Ukraine. So DT1 Nomad 2, I, it's not, not really any overlap there. I guess there's a bit of, I mean, it's mechanics, I suppose, both of them. Pretty straightforward mechanics. Well, HR2, Hidden 1, not much of anything to, that aligns with both of those maps either. It's the Flow Amy, HR2, pretty, pretty tough. And the consistency hidden. DT2 is going to be the big Chile. I think uh, this kind of tapping has been there. Forte in the tournament. It's kind of been something something they have a good lineup for. And uh, given the Nomad 2 ban from Ukraine, probably a good bet to try to consolidate that breakpoint. All right, hello, welcome to Miles. How are you, man? Doing great. Ready you up. Excellent. Good morning, I should say, actually. What time is it? Actually? Uh, it is 1 10 p.m. And I'm gonna like copyright I decided I don't have any tournaments finally, so I'll Oh, yeah, I'll just say you're, I want. you're kind of underwater at the moment. It's kind of classic Discord stuff. I think it's just because you, uh, you just joined the screen share. You should uh, even out in a second, you'll be above water. Okay, I'm breathing in my head off a lot of water. <laughs> I don't know, you're you're surfacing, I guess, but it's Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Holy shit. That is so much clearer. Hello? Hello, hello. Good morning, yes, good morning. Yes, excellent. Oh, I love Discord. I love software. I love Discord. I love noise quality, okay. So looks like Chile won their first pick, or no, it's a breakpoint. No, point, no, it's actually. a breakpoint. Yeah, it's a breakpoint. I mean, Chile is just looking so strong these days. I mean, they they took USA to tiebreaker last week. They almost won that match, but so coming down here against Ukraine, definitely a team I would favor. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really tough matchup, especially for Ukraine that has been heavily relying on two players to perform. Uh, and uh, I don't think it's really a Thailand situation where there's more depth than people realize. I uh, I do think it is largely Roman and OQ that has carried Ukraine all this all this way, as much as they really have done a lot. I mean, it's Ukraine 20th seed in finals weekend, it's kind of insane. 
<laughs> and I mean, 20th seed getting to finals, that's just such a ridiculous, I guess, overperformance compared to people's expectations. Yeah. And even if they go out right here to Chile, which I'm not trying to imply, it's an absolutely stellar run from this country. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think, without a question, the deepest run they've ever made in uh, one of the longer standing uh, World Cups. But as of right now, two, I mean, one FC to Chile and the supporting combo of Poncho is basically an FC. It might as well be. Pretty significant lead for Chile here. And Roman oh, actually Roman. does break. Yeah. It's kind of the last lifeline for Ukraine on this map. It is Chile's pick. And uh, it's looking like a pretty good one. I mean, this is this is something Chile should be good at, and also uh, considering Noma 2 was one of the bands from Ukraine, probably not feeling too good about the stamina, and it is showing. Oh, that break from Poncho on the slow part, but Gunza still holding onto that full combo. Up at the last eighth of the map, 97%. We're gonna see if he can lock out that FC. Already, it is a uh, formality to say Chile has won this point. They're up by almost 800,000. Yeah. Pretty much no doubt. OQ brings a pretty nice combo into the ending, but it's not nearly going to be enough as Gonza is just pushing forward. Oh, he finally breaks. But still, that is a almost 1 million. It is actually a 1 million score lead for Chile. Very strong first pick from them. Now, how does Ukraine respond? Already down one break point, consolidated. Gonna really need to get on the board here. Yeah, first pick. I'm wondering if that might have been uh, going into something that might be contested rather than just going for the safe pick because it is your first pick. You have a bit of room to work with. Maybe you take a risk. Maybe it's that. And uh, there's reason to be a bit more confident about some of their picks coming up here, but... Whatever it is, I assume they're not going to just straight up pick into whatever Fremont 2 is. I, uh, I will say I'm not as familiar with this pool as I was with the last one. Knight of McDonald's! This is the exact I direction I want to see from Ukraine. <laughs> Interesting. Banger. Well, it's Knight of Knights. Can I assume it looks similar? Um, the DJ Pop one, or uh... this is just a Larto map. That's all I'll tell you. Oh, okay. I mean, I know Larto, so yeah, makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very old style grid pattern mapping. For those in chat who are not aware, Larto, one of the classic mappers in the game. Put his name alongside guys like. Kirby and uh, Gens, I guess. I don't get Gens. I feel like he kept mapping for a pretty long time, right? He's got some pretty recent stuff. Yeah, I mean it's, it's still the exact same style, basically. But... I actually don't recall any of his newer maps. I only know him for like a lot of his older maps. Yeah, yeah. Mappers like Lesja as well are in that conversation. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, let's do. Love that guy. I mean, Kirby is uh, pretty swag as well. Mm -hmm. Big I mean, part of it is just he maps with some of and stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Bangers. But yeah, all those old mappers that are like extremely notable are just. I just love seeing them in map pools still. Get a little representation of the for the boomer crowd. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. I mean, there's a good map's a good map, you know. So no need to uh, discriminate against the older stuff. <laughs> And here we go into Knight of McDonald's, our CS5 Air 8 hidden pick. 
already seeing a few early breaks on both sides, Gonza and Magneta, both finding drops at the very beginning. But the accuracy is actually going to send the early lead heavily in favor of Chile. Who actually have a stellar roster for this type of map with uh, Note 37 and uh, TFGE at the helm. I say that, TFGE does find the break. No Q and Unevel and Roman do as well, and it is a full combo reset for Ukraine. Damn, this is like the best map Lardo has ever made. I don't know, like, it, it's like on a meme song, but it kind of it kind of owns. It, it does. Honestly, the last Larto map I saw in a tournament was also on a meme song. Uh, Auto Tune the News Five was in a uh, USC. What the hell was that? Um, they just took a news clip and then like put Auto Tune on it. Oh wait, is it old YouTube? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god. Also, what is No Thirty Seven doing? Yeah, I mean Number Thirty Seven. He's just doing. He's just doing the kind of shit he does all the time. I mean, does he miss? Like, ever. I guess When the not. hidden modification is on, I feel like he just does not miss. He might be the best in the tournament I at mean, this type of map. What the hell is going on? <laughs> He's still full comboing, dude. I mean, yeah. This is... He's 1v4ing! This is over? I think you could say. <laughs> yeah. I think you could say the map is over. Uh, maybe a missed pick from Ukraine. I mean, to be to be frank, just picking a hidden map at this stage into No. 37 is probably just inadvised, like not a very good idea. What the He's hell? One v fouring plus 130k. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> this is so awesome. I cannot believe how fire this map is, actually. I'm kind of surprised. It's got a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. If no 37 FC is this, it's got to be one of the scores of the weekend. And he's just got a little bit of map left. He's like... there. So close. Don't miss, please. I think he's got it. And that is going to be the FC on Night of <laughs> McDonald's from No. 37. <laughs> what a score. <laughs> it's a literal 1v4. Literal 1v4 in finals. No oh way, my dude. God. What a score. That's kind of brutal. There's two C ranks on Ukraine. And there's just the 98 FC on, uh, on Chile. You know, if you add Seif's score to the score of Ukraine, it would be a 1v5 as well. That is just <laughs> how good this score from No. 37 is oh. on this map. Friendly fire. Killing his own teammates. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, that is I, ridiculous. I just looked at the Thailand-South Korea MP link, and I saw what Lesbury did there. I'm gonna confidently say that that score is better than anything he did in that match. <laughs> Good lord. Well, perhaps a bit of a demoralizing start for Ukraine. It depends on how you see it, you know. I, f I feel like it passes over into territory where you can't do anything but laugh about it. It's just like, what the hell is happening? Mm -hmm. And now, Chile mad. continuing to pick speed. Looks like they're going for a speed abuse tactic here against Ukraine, picking two of the speed maps in a row. Got free mod one. I mean... It might be, uh... I, I, I guess there's some potential for Ukraine, but it is really, as usual, they're going to have to rely on the, the carry performances. And, uh, can't help but feel that it's just going to be uh, matching you know, the top scores in Chile at best on stuff mm -hmm. like this. I think, I, I imagine they banned Nomad 2 for a reason. They got kind of slapped on the DP2. Mm -hmm, would favor Chile pretty heavily on the tapping abuse. 
Yeah, but I would still say that this free mod 1 is a lot more accessible compared to the DT2. It's a map that I think the 3rd and 4th on Ukraine are probably going to have a better time than they did on the DT2, which means if you find some yeah. well-timed misses from the top players of Chile, that could be a chance for a Ukraine breakpoint, but once again, definitely a map that you have to favor Chile on because of the tapping. Yeah. Alright, looking like Crimea. Some mods. Well. EFGE on the hidden, Yunha on the hard rock, with Crimea on the hard rock and Roman on the hidden, who is notably still holding the SS through the early bursts. Now, into the chorus, we've got. Three big combos on Ukraine up against an equal three big combos from Chile. But with some more supporting combo on the side of TFG, but those breaks, three-way break for Chile, but also a four-way reset for Ukraine. Gonna keep the lead stable where it is. I mean, yeah, really struggling on the hard rock compared to Yuna. Well, Gonza does break. That was about to really get away from Ukraine, but... Given that we're halfway through the map, I mean, it's still a pretty decent lead in favor of Chile. Mm -hmm. OQ with 99% with a 350 combo gonna try and uh, chip at this lead here, but TFG and Yunha with the big combos are gonna be equalizing that and more. Oh, but another three-way reset for Chile. Now it might start going back in favor of Ukraine slowly but surely. They've got two 300 combos of brown. The accuracy is just not in their favor, and those combos just dropped, so now yeah. it's going further in favor of Pile, and that looks like another point for them. Ukraine needed a team effort to make something of, uh, of this one, unfortunately. Not going to be able to. Should we actually given them more of an opportunity into this than I would have expected? Yeah, but it certainly could have been competitive on this. Mm -hmm, for sure. It, e even with the uh, Crimea seat rank, it's uh, it was possible. That is brutal. Mm -hmm. If someone like Roman had held for a little bit longer, just gotten uh, gotten through that first chorus section, maybe with the full combo still intact. They maybe would have had a chance to run at that pick, but really the difference is in the hard rocks if you look at it. Chile winning by around 300k, and that hard rock difference is going to be around 250k. Going to make up a lot of the difference between these two teams. Now, pick back to Ukraine. Going to be going for hidden two. The uh, flow again. tech pick. Yep, going to dip into that hidden again. Granted, I think No37 might be a little bit more dangerous on that hidden 3 than he will be on this hidden 2. Yeah. It's still just kind of... I still feel like it's handing that opportunity to Chile. Like, it's it's going to be that opportunity for the solo carry again. Because he could. It, it, like, he, he doesn't have to FC, right? He could just go pretty big. And uh, that could be more than enough. Yeah, that's definitely a true point, but I think the cut streams on this are going to be a little bit more RNG. There's a lot more of a chance to find a break on those types of patterns than, say, No37, who is actually like a top five player in the world on those types of large maps. Yeah, yeah. I think this one may be going to be relying more on a team performance here from Ukraine. I know that they can definitely field four strong players on this, and they've got four of them in the lobby right now. But Chile, they've still got No37, TFGE, Gonza, and Pancho who have been performing extremely well all throughout this tournament. Looking to secure their country a date with Thailand in Finals 2.
been a while since I've played this map, so don't really remember it very well. Ooh. But it is uh, Cassie 2, so I imagine it's kind of uh, Akali-ish. That's about right. Yeah, it's a lot of streams. Um, there's gonna be or the key eye sections are uh, they're really gonna be defined by the cut streams in them. And the first one is about to show up right now. We've got a lot of opportunity for chain misses on these. We're gonna see who falls victim. It's gonna be Gonza and Unavel from the first one. Then goes OQ along with Magneta, and it is a full combo reset for Ukraine. While Chile has still got three full combos. Going into the final cut stream of the section, we're going to see if they can bring this three-way into the first slow part, and they do. What a strong performance from Chile out of the gate. GFG finds a drop during this chorus section, but still with the two FCs on No. 37 and Pancho, there's really not much that Ukraine can take advantage of. Their lead is already 270,000. God, this lead is already so big. No. 37 does finally break, but Pancho still going. Yeah, and unfortunately for Ukraine, all they've got right now is that 600 combo on Roman, along with 500 on Unavel, and they both find the drop right before the next cut stream section. So tragic for them, they are really relying on a poncho break right now, but this is the easier section of those difficult bridge sections. Some cut streams, he gets through them. Poncho! Oh, he oh, missed the last what? He had so much free combo right after this if he hit that. Fortunately for Ukraine, there's really no combos on their side to be able to take advantage of that miss. OQ dropping their only 300 plus combo, and it's just CFGE now with the 650 combo. Try and run this one into the ending for Chile to get their third consecutive breakpoint. Yet another... Ukraine pick that is just not gonna go their way. This is an enormous lead with basically none of the map left. If he does break. 37 though, there's always someone on Chile with combo. Just to really make a statement of it. There you go. First time in the map, I think, that the entirety of Chile has not had combo. <laughs> These really tough cuts at the end. That one struggles on them. And despite the 165k score from Gonzo, which I believe is the lowest in the lobby, it's going to be a 500k victory for the side of Chile in their third consecutive breakpoint. Chile showing that they are indeed built for finals weekend. Well, Chile already 5-0 up. Looking to make this a quick one, possibly a sweep. Match point with the next pick if they win it. And it is theirs, so... I mean, where do they go? They could just pick tapping again. ET again. Might be the safe bet. They do have DT3 available, but even then they've been dominant on reading. They've got that Nomad 5 available. They've got that Fremont 3 available. They just have infinite picks in the pool. And this DT4 is going to be their selection, so... Not necessarily a pure tapping map, but still something where they can abuse that strength against a team like Ukraine. Yeah, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like the kind of gimmick here, it's like, uh, I mean, it's a tech DT, basically. I think it's still the kind of thing that 
plays into the hand of what Sheila is, is good at, what their skill sets are. And it still does demand some, some tapping and comfort on DT in general. And uh, especially, I guess, being able to rely more on the team as a whole. Put up solid performances. Mm -hmm. And gonna be looking at a few specific players on this. I feel like the, the two guys to watch out for on both sides are gonna be uh, Gonza and Roman on this one. Gonza played extremely well on the DT4 from last week, and Roman just hasn't really been as activated as he's been earlier in the tournament in this match. Gonna see if he can manage to bring out one of those carry performances that is part of the reason why Ukraine was able to make it this far in the tournament. They, uh, the, the song might be, uh, I don't know, divisive, but uh, I think the map is pretty cool. This is uh, the most... It's the best instance of tech DT that I've, I've seen anywhere, really, so... I quite like this uh, when it was in Forsace the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but unfortunately because of the song, um, all of our commentary for this map doesn't matter because all of uh, the Twitch stream is just muted the stream because of the song. <laughs> nice. But yep, it's gonna be Gonza, Seifs, TFGE, and Wawilo up against Roman, Crimea, Suzuori, and Magnata Gamer. Gonna see if Ukraine can manage to get on the board here, they are dangerously close to being swept. They lose this map, Chile goes up to match point, and looks like Crimea is not loading in, but out of the start, it's looking like a lead for Ukraine. Gonna panic, see if we can fix this tourney client, and we do. Let's see if that lead stays. It is actually going to be a 70k lead-ish for Chile out of this beginning, with a big combo from Seifs out of the first uh, quarter. Roman. But Roman. Oh, wait. Roman. Wait, that was Roman. Roncho. Roman is still going. Looks like a combo break there for a second. Oh, TFG breaks! Roman, Roman can do it! With it's Magneta! Happening. He's a hold for a lot longer. Because the accuracies on his side aren't really helping. The 83 from Crimea and Suzuori. Gonna keep it in favor of Chile for a while, but it finally goes back in favor of Ukraine. Roman, can you do it once okay. again for your country? What is Roman doing? Oh, Roman. That? Roman! Okay, okay. Now we're really, now we're really cooking something. Roman is still holding that FC into the final quarter of the map, and with these scores from Chile, the 400 combo from Gonza. Oh, but that breaks. But I think Roman still needs to hold that 200k lead. Is not really safe on DT, but actually no. An FC on this is actually insane if he can manage to pull this off. In the last eighth of the map, he's only got a little bit more to go. He's already what done so much fuck? work for his country, and he is still going forward. Roman pushing it forward for Ukraine. Oh, he finally no. breaks for a 4k lead. This is oh my almost God. a 1v4 performance from Roman. Almost a 1v4 oh. against Chile. What the fuck is that, that is Roman? such an insane score. He almost went Dust Dice mode. I still remember in Corsairs. Dust Dice have seen this in match. It was the craziest shit. Roman the, close to those, matching that. Look at those team scores. <laughs> the average score apart from Roman is like 190k. Mind the gap. What is Roman on that map? Oh my god. That is such a score to put Ukraine on the board finally. Okay, quite quite the way to stave off the sweep this is uh just a ridiculous performance and also uh why the hell did they pick this i i i it's just going off their scores right i don't know why you'd pick that it's it's i i mean you i don't know how much you can expect roman to literally get 900k but 
probably should have just gone for the DT3. I, I imagine it would have been a safer bet. Well, and not the end of the world, right? But yeah. Safe to say that Roman has activated, and maybe Chile looking at some of the other team scores for Ukraine on the other DTs, assuming, well, we're just going to be able to team that, team gap them again because if you look at the other scores, Chile would have team gapped them if Roman mm. got like a nearly average score. But you can't predict performances like that from Roman. That is just that is just an ungodly yeah. performance that you pull out of thin air to put your team on the board and keep your team alive. Now. Uh, Ukraine gonna be picking Nomad 4, Palgo Tech. Palgo Tech, gonna go crazy with the, the sliders. I think this is a very new map, right? Yeah, it's within, the, within a month to upload time. I... Not familiar with this map in particular, but it's a Hago Sharu collab, so... I can imagine. <laughs> Lots prepare of yourself. fancy shapes and uh, really, really messed up uh, streams, cuts, or whatever. Like, uh, I honestly like the sliders are kind of visually intimidating, but I actually feel like the circle-only stuff that uh, Hago makes is way tougher to combo consistently. That's like the really hard parts to me, but. Yeah, for me, it's recognizing whether a slider is my large intestine or my small intestine. <laughs> if you play a small intestine like a large intestine, you find a slider break and vice versa. Mm. So. And I don't cheese sliders, so I uh, kind of get owned by these maps, honestly. First I've heard of that. Large, small intestine. Fucking dichotomy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, always compare your osu patterns to uh, parts of the human body, and people will understand <laughs> yeah. what you're talking about. Like, this one is the full head of hair. Like, look at this. <laughs> this slider is a full head of hair. You got, like, frills on the side. You got fucking... the hell? It's a twin tail. I don't know. I mean, it's like a Rorschach test. That's what I'm seeing. And people are already struggling on the sliders. Looks like, oh, Poncho breaking on the small intestine there, but... <laughs> so does Nusu. And yeah. everyone is just having a bad time on this, except for TFGE and Roman. We're gonna see if Roman can somehow repeat his, uh, his magic from the last map. That would be absolutely absurd to put Ukraine on the board for another point, but TFGE and Gonza are pushing it forward for Chile right now. They're gonna have to break if want to see another miracle. Gonza does. And there goes CFGE. Oh, oh, Roman breaks as well. Oh, but Benjo! Wait, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Here we go again. See? Second half. He hit the first half of this map. 10k lead in favor of Ukraine now, actually. They already took it back. So Roman basically has to combo for at least another, like, minute if he wants to win this for his team again. But that would be an absurd chain of maps for this player. And he has a very difficult section to combo here. Only Pancho on Chile for the combo. But oh, but there goes Roman. Oh. 150k lead for uh, Ukraine, though. They might have been able to take this one back. And it looks like they will. Going into the ending, there's nothing on Pancho Chile breaking. to really contest. And it's a second point for Ukraine. Damn. I think Poncho breaking there was key. Poncho might have had enough. Maybe not. Maybe he would have needed some supporting help. I'm not sure, but Roman goes pretty big again. Maybe not quite as huge as the DT4, but I'd say uh, pretty damn good. The S rank, just the one slider break, is pretty insane on this map. Finals. S rank in a sea of Bs. In a sea of bees, the blue bee, you've got the one S, the uh, the sailor, Roman, sailing through the sea of intestine intestines yes. <laughs> to bring his team the second point. It's now quite Ukraine, the imagery. Ukraine looking 
pretty alive now. Two points. They've still got to win a lot more if they want to get back in this matchup. Especially when Chile can just pick reading like this. Greedy, greedy. This is going to be a map that I think they're going to be extremely strong on. And also something that Roman might not be able to solo carry. Yeah. Is this something that OQ could like? I, I, I'm still learning what these two Ukrainian players are great at. I guess Roman is just a tech god, actually, like DFG says. But uh, still not sure about OQ, the other player on Ukraine that's been going pretty big. I don't know if they have anyone who can really pop off on this. I don't know either, honestly. I just know that Roman is good at tech, and I think he's good at hard rock as well, but I don't really know much else. Mm. Except for, um, I know Magneta's skill set a little bit, but otherwise I'm guessing on a lot of these Ukrainian players. I think players. Suzu Ori um, was going uh, HR on the free mods for them and doing pretty well, actually, mm. uh, in some of the earlier stages. Maybe, I'm not sure uh, about now, but yeah, it, no relevance to this map. I imagine, because even if it is CS5, it's uh, AR8, also intensely gimmicky. Also, a song that I've been told is also intensely terrible. No, no, no I don't... I mean, dude, everyone on Team USA tells me the song sucks. Except I don't for know. Gaby. It gives, like, cartoony, cartoonish vibes where I, I don't know. It's, I agree. It's not grading in the in the way that something like the DT4 is, where it's just so aggressively anime that gets a bit much, but I don't know, this one, you know, it's fine. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe whatever part of my brain is responsible for disgust response and things of the like has just been dulled by years of Osu, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's fine to me. Yeah, no, I'm actually on the same boat as you. Like, I feel like I just cannot compare this song to a song like Hidden One just because, like, it feels like it comes straight out of a cartoon, like you said, and I think yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, out at the beginning, early lead for the side of Chile. Low accuracies all across the side of Ukraine. Meanwhile, Chile consistently above 90%, most of them actually around 95%. And of course, who else would it be on the side of Chile other than No37 on this map? Along with TFGE holding the big combos, keeping them in the lead for now. Unavil and OQ though on the combos, and that break comes in for No37. There's some combo on Ukraine to try and steal this. Ukraine, a good team performance here. OQ drops, but it still might go back in their favor. Actually, no, the score is going in favor of Chile now. Probably due to the very strong act. Yeah. It's more combo. Eventually, it would have gone over to Ukraine, but I'm not sure anymore with my Nata Gamer breaking. I have to see. Yeah, they have less combo now, right? Gaunt's a oh, break, Gaunt's though. A Never mind. It might go back in favor of Ukraine now, but nevertheless, this is balanced oh. on this edge. Oh, but there goes Unavil. That might be the end of the dream there on this pick. If the E and the Lucy are going on the pass, they're not going to only Roman to and contest. They need to break now if Roman wants to be able to take this back. This is one of the easier parts of the map, so not really going to be expected for these players to break at this section. Gonna need I six Lucy nine breaks, but TFGE. Oh, oh. Not be reset except what? for OQ. What did everyone just miss on? I don't know. That was like a normal wiggle, like back and forth that the map does a lot. No, I I don't think there was anything there. I have no idea what happened. Maybe it's like. Maybe it was like a miss snap or something, or like a rhythm that's like super weird, I don't really know. I mean, I've played this map a decent amount, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's no miss snaps. So th there shouldn't be anything truly stupid. Missing in this part, though, is very understandable. These are like 1-8 uh, slider ends, those are kind of dumb, but... 
Still... It's actually not too far off. This was this was yet again pretty uh pretty competitive. TFGE 500k gonna be the difference maker on that pick as Chile now goes for match point, one pick away from making top four for I believe the first time in their country's history for a uh, national tournament. But it's Ukraine's pick. They have the opportunity to stay alive, get their third point on the board. Is there tech? I don't know if there's tech left. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. I don't. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's not looking like it. I, I'm not seeing tech. I'm seeing uh, hard rock three. Yeah. Like is Nomad three? It, mm. I wouldn't say it's tech, but I think it's something that they might have a good chance of taking against Chile. I feel like you don't pick the consistency, right? Like, no mod 1, HR 1 is just off the table. No way. Imagine. They don't. Yeah. Like, no way. So it is It is just no mod 3 or HR 3 because you're definitely not picking the 3 either. The 3 mod 3 is also just, like, stupid, I think. So it, it probably is just no mod 3, HR 3. The, yeah, the I... problem is that they're going to have to win some of these maps uh, after this if they're going to try to pull this through tiebreaker. Kind of a tough outlook. Mm hmm. And. They're gonna need, quite honestly, a miracle to come back in this match. Yeah. With the maps remaining. That's pretty much it. And Chile, with just how wide their skill set is, don't know if they're gonna be able to lose. I don't know if they're gonna lose uh, all of these picks remaining, but yeah. it is gonna be Hard Rock 3 from Ukraine. So, gonna be going for the CS7 aim here. Yeah, relatively standard. I, I want to say it's uh, it's another one. It's it's been a while since I looked at it, but I played it. Pretty sure it's pretty standard. It's a captain map as well, so not going too crazy. Mm -hmm. We actually pulled this in a Corsair's closed round of 16, so if that's not an indicator for how good four digits are nowadays. Uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, skill cap has gone up quite a bit. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous looking at uh, the amount of PP you need to break into three digit nowadays. Uh-huh. I have like 11.6k and I'm not three digit. <laughs> yeah. Like, tell that to someone like, back oh, yeah. when I started, this would be like, top player. I remember, this... I remember when I saw people with 9k PP and I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Dude. In my mind, 9k PP is just like the barrier to 3 digit, because I think that's yeah. where it was like, when I first started pushing to 3 digit, I was like, oh, I gotta get to 9k. And by the time yeah, I got yeah, to 9k, yeah. it was like 9.6k, and I'm like, what the hell, man? I, I don't want to get 604. First tournament I played, there was a single 3 digit on my team, it was 9k. That's, that's like, I have such a strong association with that. And, I don't know, for some reason I just can't get over that. I'm just still in that mindset. Stuck in fucking 2018, 2019, or something. A simpler time. Yeah. Before speed was buffed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right, well, looks like rosters are set up for this Hard Rock 3. We've got Seifs, Wobilo, Yunha, and Nusu up against Poma, Kirby Twister, Suzuwari, and Crimea going to be fighting for Ukraine's tournament life here. They need to win this pick if they want to continue in the tournament and this match. Yeah, the CS7 this late into the match. I mean, I guess it's not like close enough to TB where you're getting like crazy nerves on this type of map, but... Still, I feel like nerves on CS7 aim is just a death sentence. We already see a couple breaks coming in from Ukraine. Crimea and Kirby Twister, Suzuori, Wobolo. It is a whole lot of breaks across the lobbies where it is only Poma and Nusu holding on. But there goes Poma, so now Nusu with the only FC remaining. People are getting CS7. Definitely. Only uh, the person keeping it together as of right now is Nusu. Okay. 
One third nice. is pretty tough, actually, makes it through. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh there goes no! Two. Now, Roman with 130 combo, but really, I think it's a lot of it to do with the accuracy and just the constant breaks. Roman needs to hold for an ungodly amount of time if he wants to take it back on his own. He needs some help from his teammates and some more breaks from Chile, but definitely doable with only 100k of lead to Chile. And they're giving him the breaks he needs. Oh, Roman. Oh, Roman. No combo, really, on the board. Fourth of the map left. But 100k lead is more than it might sound like. I don't... Actually, with a team effort, if there's enough combo... Kirby to turn Roman break, though. And I think that is probably it. I think if Ukraine could have put together a team performance here at the end, it probably would have been enough, actually, because it's not that big of a score gap. Oh, that chain miss on the stream as well on the side of Chile is, would have sent it back in their favor, but at the end of the day, it's just not going to be enough, and Ukraine going to be eliminated at top six, and Chile going to be setting up themselves with a date with Thailand to fight for that top three spot tomorrow. It's going to be a GG well played Yeah, I mean, mad respect to uh, to Roman for uh, just single-handedly taking two points for Ukraine, basically. Yeah, that was crazy on those two maps. But yeah, honestly, shout out to Team Ukraine. Once again, cannot understate being seed number 20 and making it to top six. This is a massive performance for them, and I think the highest they have ever placed in one of these country tournaments. So, gonna take off my hat, wave it around, hats off for Ukraine. Absolutely. But I think ultimately, hard to deny Chile. They, uh, they're probably always going to move on from this match to the top four. One of the best teams in the tournament. Well deserved spot. And, uh, what hour was that, uh, that game at? Oh, yeah, it's ungodly American hours. I won't be able to see it. 3 UTC, baby. Oh, man. That is going to be a hell of a match, man. We've got, um, I think we have two matches at that time slot again, actually. Or, um, yeah, yeah. SK versus Thailand is going to be after the USA-Canada match. So, we've got SK? two matches. Um, oh, Chile, not Chile, Thailand. Chile, Thailand, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we've got some ungodly, um, I guess, more anti-European than American hours. So, yeah. for all of you, um, honestly, for everyone in the chat, if you're, if you're awake at 4 a.m., if you're European... Go catch that match. Got some crazy matches later tonight, so. But I guess until then, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a good rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Yep. See you around, guys.